Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord, and depart from evil. The validity of our understandings can be very suspect. Therefore, we must not presumptuously rely on our own understandings, but instead use them as flexible guides, cautiously following them, while always being willing to have them refined. We ought to attach God to every thought, continually desiring to be led by Him, desiring to do the right thing. We are truly meant to be consulting with God as often as possible. It's amazing how quickly our minds can venture down a road that leads to nowhere, a road that God has not ordained for us, but one we foolishly followed on our own. God lives in the present moment, not in fantasies and imaginations. The more we focus on this present moment, attached to God, the more smoothly we will get to our true destinations. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For the wicked boasts of his heart's desire and blesses the covetous, whom the Lord abhors. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after God. God is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. Your judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffs at them. The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I the Lord search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways, and according to the fruit of his doings. He that trusts in his own heart is a fool, but whoso walks wisely, he will be delivered. He that gives to the poor will not lack, but he that hides his eyes will have many a curse. Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among this people, even a marvelous work and a wonder, for the wisdom of their wise men will perish and the understanding of their prudent men will be hid. Woe to them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark, and they say, Who sees us, and who knows us? Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? There is no wisdom, nor understanding, nor counsel against the Lord. The horse is prepared against the day of battle, but safety is of the Lord. He that has small understanding and fears God is better than one that has much wisdom and transgresses the law of the Most High. Hallelujah.